Hello, Scorpio. Okay, so this is for you. Um, I hope you guys are doing very well today. All right. God is good. Let's see what we have for you when it comes to the universe, the angels. All right, what they want to give us today. Okay, Scorpio. So if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this a big thumbs up here on the channel. But if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I'll have your playlist linked below in the description. And remember, this is only a general, not a personal read. So not everything is going to resonate with you, okay? Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, wow. So we have the Seven of Swords right off the bat, Scorpio. <laughs> Someone is being dishonest here. You don't trust someone. You're feeling like you have to take this into your own hands to get the answers that you seek. I'm seeing you're searching. You're searching for something, okay? You're trying to put some things together. You're trying to pick up the pieces here, all right? I feel like you're, this person is a liar to you. Like, you feel like this person is a liar. This, this person betrayed you, all right? I also see, like, you're ready to settle down here, okay? You're... You're on your your most highest. Um, I'm not gonna say your most highest, but you're there. You're you're like you're, you're where you want to be, where you want to see yourself. For some of you, I feel like um, you accomplish so much when it comes to some income, when it comes to being stable. Okay, I feel like everything that you have, though, you worked hard for it. It wasn't given to you. Nothing was given to you, Scorpio. This is what I'm seeing here. You're just ready to share your, yeah, your wealth with someone else, someone that deserves it. I'm definitely seeing some kind of promotion. You're working really hard, Scorpio, on something, okay, when it comes to your job, okay? For those of you who think that, you know, something is, is going to happen, you're not going anywhere with your career, just know that they are watching you, Okay, they are watching you, Scorpio, and see the Six of Wands here. Oh my God. So you're going to be promoted or acknowledged or given an award for something that you have done. I'm also feeling that you're going to be um, extremely rewarded from the angels when it comes to your business taking off. Like so much money is coming in. Um, this could also be a promotion, but I'm just seeing a lot of... Um, a lot of people around you, a lot of support system, like you're going to be on the, Ooh, okay. Thank you. Angels. I'm seeing you like guiding a team. Like you're going to have a team that you're going to be guiding. This is what I'm hearing. Like you're going to have a larger team. Um, probably you're going to be, if you are in logistics, a, um, you know, general manager or something like that. You're just going to have a lot of people that you're going to be responsible for, but you're going to be doing a good job. This is why they gave it to you. I feel like, yes, you're going to have your enemies, people that think you that you don't deserve this position. But for some reason, for your career, I'm seeing like you're doing very great, Scorpio. Like you're diving into this, you're focused into this, but something that's going on with someone around you that you just don't trust. I know the angels are going to get into that, but I just feel like mm, that's just like the normal Scorpio read. It's always something about, you know, your connections around you that you're always falling apart about or things are always falling apart, you know, but yet where you're supposed to be in life in your professional desires they're like fulfilling. They're like coming through, okay? For those of you, you should already be experiencing this, but if not, it's just just be on your, you know, your P's and Q's because they are watching you. Ooh, the ace of, okay, what's going on here? Okay. So I'm seeing abundance for you. Um, Again, money. <laughs> again, money. This could also represent your... um. Your family, what you do want, you want a legacy. Like I said, you know, you're at a point of the king of pentacles, like you're there. You want to be, you know, with someone that you can share your life with. You're not a mean person, but you're not going to embrace a someone that is not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? That's trying to live off of you. That is going to be a problem because you're not going to feel stability. You're not going to feel like 
this person is with you just to be with you. You're going to feel like this person is, is with you for your money. Um, but I feel like that's what you're searching for. When you do find it, then you're going to be at ease here. I do see someone that is coming, Aries, Leo, or Sag energy, okay, that is not very confident in themselves, not very mature as well in the King of Wands in reverse, okay? Like this person um, doesn't have the... Comp I feel like this person doesn't have, let's say the strength or the desire, okay, to make things work with you, okay? I feel like this person is excited. They like you. They like being around you. Um, they want to, you know, take their time. They want to, like, start off as friends. I, I mean, they're very passionate about you. Like, it's just like the beginning of butterflies. Like, this person has butterflies. That's what I'm hearing, okay? But it's nothing, like, where they want to see where things go for the long run. It's like, let's see how this go right here, okay in this moment now um and this is the kind of energy i'm feeling for this person this person has a lot of anxiety within but you're not like t making the anxiety like um control the situation um they're fine now but i feel like if you push them they will have anxiety issues okay all right so let's see what else Thank you for stopping. You have some messages. Lovely. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting twin flame or, you know, soulmate connection for some of you. Not confirmed as yet. All right. But I'm feeling like there is some kind of kind of compatibility between you guys like you guys act the same um like you know you solve issues the same way here and this is a problem because if this person is not moving you're not moving kind of thing it's like you're going back and forth but I do see someone that is not taking the initiative and then someone here is like open you know at this moment but I do feel like it's a a kind of a similarity you could be dating your own sign for you Scorpio or even a water sign like Cancer Pisces someone that is emotional like you are okay um I do see like this person again you're getting I'm getting like this fatherly motherly um feeling with you like this person cherishes you if something is wrong they will run right to you like they can't solve an issue by themselves okay and this is a problem because you're coming off as someone that's going to be very very stable okay so Scorpio I need you to be careful with this energy okay because obviously this person isn't there yet this person isn't there so I'm just feeling like they just know that you're going to have their back on anything that they need. And I feel like we had this conversation before where I'm picking up that, that same kind of energy. I'm also seeing the Ten of Wands here, the Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Sun in Reverse, and the Chariot. You know, this person, if you haven't spoke to them or heard from them, well, they're coming and this is a fact, okay? This is a fact. They're coming in the chariot. In the end, the chariot wins, right? Being successful here, all right? Right now, you know that this person is a selfish person. They're not making you happy. They're not even trying to make things work with you here. This relationship is a burden. So it's still on between you guys. With a ten of pen, with a ten of wands being here, you haven't left. You haven't drived off and left this person or your heart is still lingering, waiting for this person in the three of wands to come to you, okay? Okay. but they're not coming to you it's like they're waiting for you to come to them you see what i'm saying like you're not coming they're not coming it's like that similar similar oh my god similarity <laughs> i can't even say the word that's there between you and this person it's like you you solve issues the same the way your temper is is the same um you know your thought process is the same okay um and this is what I'm seeing here. This person is very selfish with their time. When you need time with them, they're never around. I feel like this person is always on the run. I'm getting Leo vibes here, all right? Always on the run. I always want to be with friends. You know, trusting people that 
are not good for them, you know? All right. Let's see what else the angels want for you, Scorpios, please, angels. Scorpio. Ooh, renewal. So you have a renewal coming to you, Scorpio. There is going to be uh, a chapter of your life that's ending. This is what I'm seeing, okay? Like, you have to just let go of this. Do not try to fix this. I'm seeing like the angels are trying to bring a new beginning into your life, okay? And those of you who are not used to change, because of course, Scorpio, you love things the way they are. You're not too fond of change. But, you know, unfortunately, that is your zodiac. You are always changing. You're always developing into something else. People are always coming in and out your life. That's the process of your life, you know? And you can hold on to things like that. You have to learn how to not, all right? And how to just be you and okay with you, all right? Um, let's see. Let's score it, you We have... Ooh... So we need courage, something about courage here, okay? There is going to be a challenge for you, Scorpio. This is what I'm hearing, and it's going to take all your strength and more. Um, there is, I'm getting a crossroads, you guys, where you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to be strong, and you're going to have to have courage. You're going to have to just jump into something that... Um, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't see your future. You don't, you're, you're, but you know that where you are right now, it's just not it. Okay. It's not it. So the angels are saying you need to have courage. Okay. This is going to bring joy to your life. Okay. Again, abundance is coming into your life. I'm seeing happiness. I'm seeing laughter here. I'm seeing you laughing a lot, Scorpio. For those of you who haven't laughed a lot, <laughs> Well, you're going to be very happy. And we also have justice here. So the scales are going to be balanced back into your life, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of things was in balance before with the four of pentacles. This person was taken, taken. And you know what? Even if you try to give this person something, it's just never enough. Or they seem like they're very selfish or not even thankful for what you have done for them. You know, it's like they have... A negative thing to say about everything that you do, you know? Um, but justice is here, okay? So karmic energy, energy is also showing up for this person. Um, unfortunately, they're going to have to learn. We have inner peace. So those of you who need to forgive and forget, I know you can't forget, but at least try to forgive yourself first and then forgive the person that hurt you because remember, you need some kind of inner peace. Okay, within yourself. Okay, um, you need inner peace so the angels can work in your in your behalf. When you're so negative and dark, and it's so easy to get there, Scorpio, with your zodiac sign. I'm a Scorpio myself, so it's a struggle. You know, it's a struggle to keep your balance. You know, intact. It's a struggle to always like don't linger about certain things and certain people because we are so easy to, you know, end up hating someone or really just like really thinking about them and really just want to beat their ass. But, you know, <laughs> but we, tr we, we have to like be better than that. And that's our challenge, you know, Scorpio, that's our challenge to be better. Okay. Um, so yes, peace is a must. This is what I'm hearing. The angels cannot work. The way they need to, and I'm saying I'm like seeing fast paced, move, fast paced movement here. Okay, like the angels want to move fast in your life. All right, protection for those of you, you know you're protected. You feel it when you're walking down the street or when you're driving. There's an energy around you. Some of you get goosebumps. This is what I'm hearing. Some of you just feel this rush of energy passing through. You feel like happiness, goodness. You don't know where it's coming from because your day wasn't that good. You know, this is what I'm hearing. But the angels want you to know, like, you know, for those of you who feel like you are alone, know that you're not. The angels are protecting you, okay? Um, but they also want you to build a relationship for those of you who are not building a relationship, okay? And we have release here, all right? 
I feel like it's time to release yourself now for those of you who feel stuck in a situation like there is no hope, there is no way. Um, you just feel like this is what the universe have for you. This situation that you're in, there's no way I can change it. I'm just waiting for change. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Nobody's coming for you. Okay. If you're waiting for change and you're waiting for somebody to rescue you, nobody's coming for you, baby. Okay. You have to rescue yourself. The angels are wanting you to rescue yourself. You have to depend on self Scorpio. Okay. Uh, make the angels first, make God first, whoever you believe in, your second, whoever you thinking about is third, okay? All right, because if there is no self, there is nothing, nothing. Yes, yes, if there is no self, there is nothing. Okay, so let's see. Walking away. Ooh. We have the woman holding a heart. And we have door to value. So there's going to be money coming in for you, Scorpio. I'm seeing you walking away from a situation. But you're also looking back here, okay? When you're walking away from something, when you do, just make sure this is something that you truly want. You don't want to look back. You want to look forward, okay? Because if you're looking back, that means you're not 100% there, all right? And I feel like there is some kind of um, financial situation happening for you, Scorpio, that the angels are forcing you to understand, okay? For those of you who are financially struggling, no, it's not going to last forever. There's new love also, okay? There's a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces energy coming into your life for those of you, all right? Holding a heart, all right? So this person is ready to um, be open with you. Someone, this could be a new person as well. I'm seeing everything coming together here. Um, I'm seeing your career blossom. I'm seeing new love coming in. Um, I'm seeing you leaving things behind, but for those of you who are looking back, just make sure this is the right time that, um, or this is the right thing that you're doing for yourself, okay? All right, door to spirit, anxiety, so you have to focus on your mental health, you guys, an angel of strength, okay? Like I told you before, it's going to take everything that you are to make this work okay we have anxiety here for those of you your mental state is important we already talked about how easy it is to go into depression to go into darkness okay with your 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 element all right we have the door to spirit as well i feel like again i already explained the angels are saying build a spiritual relationship with them okay yes you have a lot coming to you, but they want you to build a door, a door to them. For those of you who are having prayed in your life, haven't been on your knees, I mean, life is tiring, right? It's very hard. So you need to have that protection within yourself with that spirit connection so you can learn how to uh, manifest correctly, so you can learn how to meditate correctly so everything is connected you guys so you can learn how to um you know ask the angels for everything that you actually desire and be straightforward about it you know go into yourself you know your deepest desires in your heart and you know a lot of us is not there because we don't have a relationship with spirit we don't have a relationship with spirit you know we hear about this you know we hear people talk about it and you're just like uh okay whatever huh well i got everything i ever wanted from my on my own but did you wake up every day on your own do you know how many people are so healthy and they just go to sleep and never wake up like that is crazy and the doctors are like they don't even know what, what happened They're, they seemed so healthy but yet science tell them they had heart failure or something like that and you know like, and they're so young and this person was a freaking active person and, and, you know, in the games and had sports, so, you know, team and all that stuff. And, and then suddenly this went to sleep and never woke up. Okay. So every day you wake up, the spirit, that's a gift from spirit, you guys. 
That's a gift from the spirit. So you think you're by yourself because that's what the devil wants you to think. That spirit is never there for you. But they're actually protecting you to have the protection card in your reading. Okay? So let's see what Angel wants you to know about this. Scorpio. Please, thank you. How many messages do you have for Scorpio? Thank you, angels. I feel the angels as I'm talking, you guys, Scorpio. Oh, my God. So good. And I love feeling them when I talk to y'all because that, that's like a validation that I am on the message for you guys, whoever this message is meant to be for. So the angels are here. Thank you, angels. Okay. So we have communicate clearly because there are going to be some kind of communication between you and this person. I feel like it's the past person that's coming in because I remember I told you, yeah, <laughs> the chariot. This person has a lot of love for you. They do want to be with you, but they're on their own terms, you guys. All right. So they're not rushing in. They're making you wait for it and they're taking their lovely time. But at least they know the direction that they want to be in. So this person is coming towards you. All right. And the angels want you to communicate for judgment. You guys who are bitter, please, please, please do not let karmic energy take over you. All right. Because the angels are saying like you need to let this go so they can let it flow. All right. When it comes to karmic energy, you don't take, you're not judge and jury. Okay. Um, let the angels take care of it. All right. Then we have reconsider. So it's going to be some truth that's coming to this. Obviously, this person is coming to you to make things work. So they're going to open up to you. I'm going to see like, I'm seeing like a communication that's happening. Um, answers that's coming in um, with this person and it might just shift. So some of you might just stay and some of you might just go. And this is why a lot of you are looking back because you're not really sure if you you know this per you want to leave this energy behind you're just not sure yet if this is someone that you want to let go of okay big and happy changes are coming your way wow and we already know that from the ace of pentacles to what else we had some good cards here right we had the ace of pentacles the 10 of pentacles the six of wands. Ooh, money, money, money. All right. Plus the door to value showed up in your reading. Hmm. So big happy changes. Then we have in the near future. All right. So very quickly, this is coming around, you guys. Romance is also on the horizon with someone new. 444 on the clock. For those of you, 444 is on the clock romance okay something more fulfilling is coming at your door you guys so be prepared this situation will improve from your past okay yes they do love you see those dolphins there so you're at a crossroads and you're gonna have to choose like which direction you want to take for yourself because you already have the information and you already have the experience with this person and you know what they're all about. So this is, will be interesting to see, all right? Then we have recovery, all right? So those of you, you really need to go into your recovery. You really need to see, um, you know, what Scorpio want, who is Scorpio, you know, how strong does is Scorpio, like all these things about yourself. You need to start making yourself first, Scorpio, especially that's what I'm getting because a lot of you are there for people that are not there for you. Um, I don't feel like when somebody call you, they ever even ask you, like, how the hell are you doing, really? You know? It's like you call them and you're just like, hey, how are you? It's like, and then just start talking and forget to ask you, like, how are you, for example. And that's that's the kind of energy that I'm I'm feeling with you, Scorpio. Like, people don't, like, they depend on you to help them get through a lot of things, but they don't know that it drains you and they don't care to ask, okay? Choose a new direction, get more information, um, perfect timing is also showing up, so divine timing is a must here, and I'm also seeing healing, healing, healing with the, um, this is to me is like the temperance card, okay, you guys? Balance, okay, patience, um... You know, um, it's like 
a lot of recovery, okay? Recovering yourself here, choosing self. You know, this is what I'm hearing. Choosing self. You know, making sure that you're okay. All right? But get more information. There is something coming up with this past energy. Someone is going to show you um, something new. Um, how to get something done here. How to um, be more successful with a situation. All right? And I feel like that's in like an older energy, honestly. So let's clear this up, Scorpio, and do your overview and see what the angels have, all right? I hope you guys are doing very well. I know I was MIA for a couple of days. I took some days off, you guys, because um, I just needed a break. When you do these messages every day, you're going to go crazy. You could, you know, you have to make sure that you just pay attention to your body, all right? Um, let's see. All right. So, let's see the overview for Scorpio. Overview. Thank you, angels. Overview for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. All right. Um, you guys need to be very careful when it comes to work because remember, Scorpio, I saw you doing very well at work, being very, um, you know, accomplished. You know, you're going to get that promotion if you haven't already. But I just need to warn you, taking up responsibilities just to prove that you're excited about this new job, you're excited about this new offer. Um, you don't need to prove yourself. The reason why you got it, because they know that you are capable, okay? So if you feel like there is a lot, of a lot of things to be done, you have to work together. I'm seeing like the angels are saying you have to work together here with your team, okay? Place these responsibilities, use your team. This is what I'm hearing, all right? Don't take up more than you cannot chew because you already have a lot of eyes on you with your plate. And you need to be, you know, you are going to be successful, but you need to do this smart. Because I'm seeing you're taking, like, you're trying to, you know, when you get a new position and you just don't want to mess up anything in the beginning and you're just doing everything yourself because you know you'll do it right. But I, yes, that's all good and dandy, Scorpio, but I need you to use your team, all right? All right, so there's going to be a lot of immature energy, okay, people that's trying to backstab you. Um, obviously they don't think that you deserve this. All right. I'm seeing people that actually try to put you under the bus before you're going to be, that's going to be on your team. Okay. That's going to try to come after you. All right. I'm definitely seeing like a lot of gossip, a lot of bitterness here, a lot of talking about you behind your back kind of thing. Um, and a lot of people like half and half are for you and the others are against you as well. And I just feel like you know who these people are within yourself, okay? Um, because this is someone that you had an issue with before. This is someone that tried to mess up what you were trying to accomplish at your job, okay? Um, but I feel like the weirdest thing is, is like you're going to have people standing up for you who you don't even know. Um, so people are actually watching you. This is what I'm hearing. And they've never worked with you before, um, personally, but they're in the same, um, you know, the same job, the same umbrella, but they're just, you guys are not on the same team. So this could be someone that is doing a completely different thing and you're in, say you're in finance and you're in the finance team, but there is someone from, you know, operations that always look at you and they think that, wow, you're just this nice person. You're always saying good morning and, you know, being so gentle with everyone, but you never worked with them, right? And these are the people that I'm seeing that have your back, but the people that you're working with, working with are the one that's gossiping about you, okay? 
Um, but you have to understand, Scorpio, that you don't need these people. You shouldn't care because they want to win at all costs. They want your job. They want your whatever you got. But you have to realize that they're not you. Is only one you. You understand? So whatever they do, they could, you know, have a fit. They could puff, you know, carry on. They would never have your position. You understand? So if they were supposed to have it, the company would have gave it to them. Okay? Because remember, the, 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 the company is watching everybody. Okay? Watching everybody. And that's why they chose you. But you need to be careful not to fall into the trap that they have for you. All right? If you're having problems with someone, take it up with management that this person is being in, in, you know, in not listening to you, not taking orders, um, and you need her to or him to have, you know, take care of this responsibility. Do it very professionally, you know. Don't argue with them, Scorpio, because that's what they want. They want you to start yelling. They want to say that you are a hard person to talk to, and that's the last thing you need, you know. Um, but I'm seeing very a lot of immaturity here. Um, don't be stressed out because I'm seeing a lot of you are stressed, all right, or going to be. You're dealing with a lot of anxiety here um, as well. But I'm also feeling like there is this thing about, like, you know this person who's out for you because you don't trust them, you know. But I feel like this person, when, so for some of you who is starting all this drama, were friends with you. This is what I'm hearing. They were friends with you before. And you are just, you don't trust them anymore. This person is not on your level for sure. And I feel like they know it, but they're jealous. But they're turning that jealousy into hatred because they wish they were you. You just, I feel like they're always saying your name. Like, like say your name is Jay, like myself. And they're like, Everybody's always talking about Jay and everybody sh and they're like J J J and they're like J J J is always J J J J like that's how they talk about you you know like you're always being praised and someone is just like so jealous like a child here and you didn't know that this person was like this because they were wearing a mask the whole time hiding their true selves until you stop being friends with them you just saw the red flags here. They don't know what they want to do. They just want to take. They just want to take everything to get on top. They're not working for it. This is what I'm hearing. They want it to be given to them. Mm. Okay. But look, you're going to have, you're going to be fine. This is the problem. You're going to be fine and people can't stand it. Financially stable, Scorpio. Financially stable in the first watch and the second watch, I'm getting the same thing. But there's just going to be a lot of immaturity around you. But yet you're going to suck it up. Again, I'm getting like this um, relationship, like this similar relationship coming up again between you and someone that is very immature. This could even be for some of you. Oh my God, Scorpio. Oh, Lord. You guys don't need to be dating on the job. That's the last thing you need to do. But for some of you, I'm getting like this is someone from the job that you guys work together, collabed with each other, had a lot of passion towards each other, and now you can't even think alike, okay? You can't get it together. Um, this is also a problem coming up here, all right? I feel like you're just not, but you, the energy, your energy is still remains the same, just like in the first watch. You're just not trying to have the drama, you're a clueless, you're just focusing on what's in front of you and not behind you. If anyone wants to come to you and talk to you, even your past, you have no problem with it, you know, but you know where to place everybody, but you're not, you're not rolling your eyes. You're not having an attitude. This is, you know, this is what I'm seeing, like a motherly or fatherly figure. Like, you know, if they need help, you're going to sit with them and they're like, damn, how does Scorpio do that? I can't believe Scorpio's actually sitting with me. Example, if you guys were sleeping together before and you guys didn't work out and you just like sit with them and talk to them like nothing never happened. They're like, how the hell did this person do that? I'm seeing communication coming here, Scorpio. You're going to have to heal. All right. You're going to have to choose yourself. Just like in the temperance, just like divine timing, just like the perfect timing card that we talked about. 
This is what I'm talking about. Sat energy here for some of you might be dating a Sag, okay? For some of you might be dating a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy, okay? Or a Libra for Pacifics, okay? Right here as well coming up, all right? There's more elements here, but I'm talking about the major cards, okay? So definitely choosing yourself here, all right? There's a decision that you haven't really made in stone yet and remember when we saw that walking away card it's like you are looking back like you're not sure if this is something that you want to do and if it's not and you still want to work things out that's your business don't feel like you have to do it for anyone else because this person was the five of swords okay um and i'm talking about listen this doesn't have to be with anything romantic this could be a friendship that's coming up family situation okay that someone really did backstabbed you okay um really try to take everything from you this is what i'm hearing they're trying to win at all costs they're not trying to take responsibility of anything that they feel within their hearts that you feel like they did wrong they're not okay you see this person they're looking at you in the back bawling your eyes out and don't give a damn about your emotions okay but you still haven't made a decision in Libra, okay, to balance this out or to make, because it's all about karmic energy here. Because once this is decided, the angels are going to take control. They're waiting on you. Because what happens is that they cannot take control of the situation if you're still with the person. Because you're going to experience karmic energy because you're going to try to help them. You know, whether it is money, whether it is them losing their job and you're trying to financially support them, you're going to feel the burden. So they don't want this. They're waiting on you to make a decision to walk away from this person so that they can take um, full control of the situation. But I feel like this person wants to still work things out. They still want to be friends or be in some kind of relationship because there is love here. But you're just not trusting them. You're burnt out from this person. You're ready to move on. But I'm seeing like a lot of changes and shift are happening in your in your life. Okay? But one of them is you're going to need to let this go. This depression here, Scorpio. A lot of anxiety. What if? What if? In your mind, talking about you caused. You're, like, you're thinking for some of like you caused this situation. You made this. You know, and you need to stop that because you didn't. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Scorpio? You didn't do nothing. You did everything right. You hear me? Like, what? This person got you messed up. Mm -mm. This person got you messed up, you guys. You need to heal. You need to choose yourself. All right? Two of Cups. Looky, looky now. Looky, looky who's showing up. Let me put this on the side so I can have more room, y'all. My crystals are in my face, everything. I just want to move these cards up so y'all go see what's popping for me, y'all. You're going to have truth coming your way. All right, so whatever you don't understand, just know that, Scorpio, you're going to understand, Okay. You're going to understand whatever you don't understand. <laughs> You're going to have the clarity, okay? The clarity is coming to you, all right? Everything is about to shift and change. It's not going to be the same. Did that rhyme? <laughs> it's not going to be the same, you guys. Everything is about to shift, all right? So whatever this person was hiding, whoever is back backstabbing you at work, whoever is, you know, in your life and want to come back and... And you just didn't have the clarity, the truth with this person. This person was unfair to you. Just know that everything in your life is about to come to light. Back to back. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right? This is going to have you. And you know the funny thing is? I saw the Queen of Swords right here, which is going to be a conversation. But it's a morally... Um, it's a conversation between two people. But yet, you're morally like... You're listening, but you're not really there. Like, you're not really getting the answer that you want from this person. Um, you're going to be listening to them or whatever. 
but you don't know if you're going to trust them either. You don't know if this is what you want to hear in the Queen of Swords. You know, you, this is like a lot of nonsense to you. You don't, you don't care for the nonsense. You're standing up for yourself. You know, you're being really guarded here, you know, with this person. Like, huh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll forgive you, da, 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 but you are placing people where they need to be placed. You understand like you have the all the experiences with these folks and you're just placing them this over here that over there you know little by little so i'm getting the two of cups here i'm also getting the ten of wands we talked about the ace of swords and we talked well we have the four of pentacles again in your reading and the five of wands hmm okay and then we have the four of cups so this person is giving you what they can. It's like, listen, whoever this is, you guys clearly don't get along. You don't get along. Um, you have to watch your words with this person. I feel like you're going to bump heads very quickly with this person. The four of wands is here. This person is never around, you know? I feel like this person is highly selfish, okay? Um, don't give you anything. Don't take you out. You know, and you're going to find out exactly why. I feel like this person is being held back, okay? But for some reason, they're showing up. Why is this card is flicking out of my hand? <laughs> they're showing up like nothing never happened kind of energy. And that's really like off to me. But yet, this person is a burden to carry. But they're trying to like, I'm seeing like this person is trying to impress you um because they want to come back you know they want to come back in your life this could be a mom or a dad you guys in your overview but it could also be a love interest as well with this two of cups someone that has a lot of um they feel like a soul tie in your life like this could be a family tree as well um this feel tied to you so I'm seeing a lot of bit like bickering and fighting and, and stuff like that between you and this person. All right, so let me see what the angels have for you guys for the future for Scorpio. Thank you, angels. Scorpio, please. I'm trying to shuffle, y'all. Scorpio, thank you, angels. <laughs> oh my God, such a beautiful day, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the day. Summer is about to be over in some places, okay? I'm in Atlanta, so our summer dose is not over until like, um, well, it's going to be over, but in like late October or something. We have a longer summers. We're going to start feeling the cold, cold, definitely in November. All right. So, well, our fall is going to be in November. <laughs> All right. So, we have Nine of Earth. Ooh, again, the angels are saying like Nine of Earth, Nine of Earth. Look at this. You are so financially stable like the angels are just saying like don't worry they're gonna try to make you this is what i'm hearing the angels are trying to make you comfortable as much as possible because they know what you're going through when it comes to relationships in your life scorpio and they try to replace it for now with comfortability so you know money you know abundance so you guys can just travel do things that you normally wouldn't do um, buy things for yourself to kind of like take that um, feeling away, especially for those of you who've been single for a while. Um, they're trying to, you know, take get that stuff off your mind so they can work, work behind the scenes. It's, let me tell you something. These, these angels are so sneaky. <laughs> they're so sneaky. They're trying to take your mind off of this person because see when your mind is on your person like who this person is who's coming in my life they can't really work because your energy is so focused on this person and slowing the process down so what they're doing is actually trying to you know take your 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 thoughts by giving you these things giving you these financial which are which you are you know the worked really hard for but they're trying to like replace a lot of things um 
especially your love life, you know, for now with a lot of abundance, okay? And this is going to help them because you, your mind is going to be totally off this person because you're thinking about your money, uh, your money. <laughs> being at the club and throwing that money. Anyway, and then your angels can be able to work behind the scenes for your person to move them forward into your life. You know, this is what is happening. And because they keep telling me like abundance for Scorpio, abundance for Scorpio. Yeah, I, I see it, you know, but they want me to tell you. And it's, I, I'm not like, okay, I know what you're doing now, angels. You're trying to, you know, take Scorpio mind because all Scorpio thinking about is a person, someone that they want to settle down with. That's all Scorpio is trying to find when they out there in the club, twerking and stuff. I mean, drinking at the bar. Bar and grill. They try to look around, see who, see, see who they could take home, okay, um, and build a life with. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. So I'm seeing luxury for some of y'all, like fast, fast, fast luxury. <laughs> All right, so we have the ego card. We have the three of fire. Hmm. We fought the page of earth, okay? All right. So we have the devil coming up in your reading, okay? We have the, um, the codependency here. Um, I feel like some of you are feeling very trapped in the situation, all right? Some of you are dealing with someone that has some kind of addiction issue, all right, that you need to take care of. But this card could also mean your energy, Scorpio, okay, in Capricorn, where you feel like you keep going back to certain things and you just don't know why. It's an addiction, an unhealthy one at that, and you feel like this is what you deserve. The angels want you to work on this, okay? There is room for improvement here. They're saying you can change, okay? And you don't deserve someone to treat you this way, all right? Whatever you're going through and this person is not fulfilling your cup, wake up. It's just you're wasting time with this person. If you gave them more than two chances, you're wasting your time with this person, okay? Okay. All right. So there's just going to be heartbreak here. This is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a lot of healing in your future. I'm also seeing the page of there's going to be a message coming to you. Some kind of like this person. I don't feel like this is going to be your future person. I feel like this is your past person. It's like they got it. You know, in the page of um, Pentacles, like, I got it. I finally know how to be successful here. Let's try again kind of energy. And it's like, yes, it's going to make you feel like how you used to feel back in the day with this person. So free and so happy and so joyful. And you just want to just, you know, hang with them. And you just like, you feel safe because this is your past. You're familiar, right? So you know what you're going to get. But... If you know what you're going to get, why even go back there? You know, and this is what the angels are saying. Like this is, the, this person is going to continue. So your past person is going to continue to try to be in your life. All right. We have a new relationship coming to you. Someone loving, giving. Okay. Someone that is very emotional. Okay. Someone that is going to be either a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces energy. All right. Um, they want a more stable relationship, all right? So this person is very emotional, all right? I feel like this is going to be a roller coaster for you because you're emotional. But Scorpio, we tend to be very hard with our emotions. We don't tend to like really talk about our emotions, even though we're really just the biggest emotional zodiac <laughs> sign in the zodiac, okay? We're just... I mean, Scorpio is emotional too. They are crybabies, but um, not Scorpio, Cancers, Cancers, right? And Pisces, they're emotional too, but they tend to like really hide their emotions as well. So it's just, it's just so crazy how we are all connected. But anyway, this person is going to come into your life. It's going to fulfill those things that you are missing, all right, in your life, period, Let's see what the angels have for you for Scorpio. What's 
going on for Scorpio? What do I need to work on? Angels. What does Scorpio need to work on? Okay, so we have, again, <laughs> it's funny how this card is coming up in your um read because we just said, like, I was getting a vibe in your reading like nobody's coming. Remember, I was like, if you're waiting for somebody, nobody coming for you, right? To rescue you, right? And this came up. You can be your own knight. You can be your own knight. Again, I'm going to say, you can be your own knight. You have to rescue yourself. You have to rescue yourself. Nobody is coming for you. That's not up. That, that, listen, this angel that's in your life, that's doing all the work in the background for you, all right? They're not going to put this person into harm's way, okay? You got to fix yourself before you get this person, because this person already did the work. This person already did the work. This person already did the work. Did you hear what I'm saying, Scorpio? This person for you already did the work. It's up to you. Because a lot of you going backwards. You can't let go of this person. And the angels are trying to like get your mind off of this person. All right, release your guilt. What did this person do for you? So something that this person did for you that you can't really let go. I'm hearing like for some of you, maybe they um, paid for your school or when you weren't working, they had you or hold you down or something. And now you feel like you have to hold them down. Um, maybe they rescued you in a difficult time in your life. Um, like when you needed them, they were there for you. And now you feel kind of guilty walking away from this person. Whatever happened to this person, you feel guilty just walking away into this situation when they're down. You know? Like when you were down, they didn't leave you. This is what I'm hearing. But now when they're down, you feel like you have to stay with them. But the love is not there anymore. Like how it used to be. Like something is just off in this connection. And it's not only that, because I don't feel like, um, Scorpio, I don't feel like that's the issue. Like, because this person is down, you want to walk away. I feel like it's a how this person is treating you while you want to walk away. But this person mindset is just like, oh, so you're going to leave me because we're going through this now, you know, and they're talking about financially. They're not talking about how they're not taking you out, how they're not, you know, cherishing you, how they're not giving you kisses out of nowhere, you know, holding your hands, making you feel like you're stable and you're secured in this relationship. They're talking about how you're walking away because they're not in a place to financially take care of you. Like this person is like, I'm getting like taking care of you. Like, I don't know, like... And they're not understanding. It's like, remember when I said one person is like, you guys are similar, but it's like your one is up and one is down. So I'm really getting soulmate connection. Oh, okay. So it's soulmate connection. Some of you could be, could be married to this person as well. Okay. Tied to this person, the two of cups. I'm going to see that. <laughs> I did see the two of cups, but I'm, I wasn't even thinking about the um, confirmation. Okay, thank you, angels, for bringing me back there. Okay. And then we have, <laughs> don't doubt your worth. Do you want me to say it again? Don't doubt your worth. Scorpio. It says here, I am always enough. You're putting something on a wall saying, I am always enough. Obviously, Scorpio, you're going through something with this person where this person is making you feel like you are not enough. Like you are not enough. Do you hear what I'm saying? You are not enough. And you want to, <laughs> this is crazy because I just talked about this. Like you don't feel secured or stable in this connection. And this person is putting guilt on you because they're saying, release your guilt. Release your guilt. Take yourself out on a date for those of you who lost your way. It's time to get dressed up. It's time to get dieseled out. It's time to get shape up. 
Get your best dress on and go out. Take yourself out on a vacation. For me, I always take myself out of state, y'all. Because, listen, when my energy, again, my energy is, um, my energy needs to be on a par par, okay? When people, when I be in the house a lot, nobody lives with me, but it's only my energy. But I don't like, I'm a sap by descendant. So I like to be out and about and doing all of this. This craziness, okay? I'm a free spirit of Scorpio, okay? Yeah, that's why it's so important to know your chart, you guys, and what, what's going on there. But, yeah, I'm a talkative Scorpio. I don't, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I talk a lot. I like to have friends. I like to make friends. I like to, you know, I would not go up to anyone like how Geminis and Libras and, you know, Aquarius do, but... Or, you know, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Because they mostly love going up to people. And, um, but that's the Sag in me. I like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go up to anybody and start a friendship. But if I, they were introduced to me, I could have a conversation. You understand? I could hold a conversation. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's play. Hmm. Okay, slow down and celebrate yourself. Those of you who are working really hard to support this person. This is what I'm hearing. You're working really hard to support this person. All right? Um, let's close this up. Justice is coming. All right? Just know that the angels are on your side. I'm seeing karmic energy. I feel like justice came up twice already. Just to let you know what's really popping here, Scorpio. That justice is on the way. All right? But this is what I have for you guys, all right? Because the video was like 56 already. I didn't expect it to be that long, y'all. I was just enjoying the messages. Um, but Scorpio, just know that you are a beautiful person. That Know that you got stuff coming in. But again, I'm going to preach to you real quick about this person. Where is it? Because you're dealing with a lot of stuff. And there is a love coming in your way. I know you feel it because... I feel it. A lot of you Scorpio should feel something like you're just going through your day and there's this um, energy that comes through you. You don't know what it is. It's like a good feeling or this, um, this, uh, it's a force of energy that a lot of Scorpios are going to be feeling, especially when it's near. All right. When your person is near, you don't know what the hell that is. It, you probably think that it's a chill or, okay, what the hell it is. Like, okay, that's weird. Let me just get up. Get, get, do my day, but there is your person. Your person is really close to you. So, you know, get prepared, fix your life, Scorpio. This is what the angels are saying. Fix your life. Okay. Because they're not going to lay this person into your lap and you got shit going on. It's not fair to them. They've been through so much. You too, but they did the work. You hear what I'm saying? They did the work. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.